I will shoot through the window from the distance of about five meters. I have a small designated point of aim. I will be always aiming at the same point. First, I have three full metal jacket, just normal 124 grain bullets from Solarium below. And then I have three subsonics that are flat nosed and they are around 140 grains, also slower. What I want to see is if that makes any difference on a target. That's, that's interesting. We have three rounds that went higher than the point of aim, and we have three rounds that went lower than the point of aim. One thing is for certain, the person inside this car would be dead. Now let's try a couple of XRG defense rounds, also from Celerium below. These are actually quite light with only 100 grains, probably have higher velocity, and they are solid projectiles, so it's just a copper bullet. So it seems that the XRG rounds made smaller holes and took less of the glass towards the target. And if you look at the holes, they are smaller round shape, which kind of indicates that these projectiles did not deform. With a full metal jacket round, you have a lead core, which is soft. You can see that it deforms even when it hits the glass and also you can see it on the target. Now I want to shoot an FNJ, an XRG round, through the windshield, into the clay block and we have a ballistic vest over here to catch the bullet. This is the full metal jacket. The jacket separated, it was actually outside of the vest. And this is the lead core that we found inside the vest. And this is the XRG round. You can see that first it hit glass, took some glass with it. And because of it, it did not have a full expansion. The effects on clay are very similar. Seems that uh, the full metal jacket, because it was deformed, it made a different kind of hole, an uh, elongated one. The XRG made a very round hole, but made a bit more damage in the backside. This is from the full metal jacket, and this is from the XRG. But essentially, this is not ballistic clay, so it's just for visual representation. I just thought about something. What if we reverse the situation? So I'm inside the car and I have to shoot through the front window to my target six meters over there. Again, the black dot is my point of aim. Let's see where the point of impact is. If you shoot outside of your car at six meters, the bullet will deviate so much that you can miss your target. My hypothesis is that all of the shots went over the target and did not hit it. So how I can test this? I will shoot from the same position, but I will aim at the lower part of the target to see if we can hit it. This is my point of aim. We have one shot here, one shot here, one shot here. What? Okay. Now I want to try the subsonics and the XRGs. Three each, and I will still aim at the center of the target to see if we can get any hits. Three separate holes. It seems that one of the bullets hit exactly where I was aiming. These are the subsonics. The other two, I don't know where they went. The XRG. Okay, that's also a very surprising result. I was aiming directly here and we have three hits on the target with the XRG. I remember the conversation with one of the guys from Solarium Below where they said that the XRG was optimized to also shoot through windshields and so on. It does better. It performs better than a normal full metal jacket, even better than a subsonic. So that's good. Three good hits. What we're testing here is the capability of penetration through the windshield and also the deflection that we get. So I was trying to aim at the undamaged part of the windshield. That's why you have multiple holes. But if you are in a situation where you have to shoot outside or inside the windshield, you take your first shot at the target and then try to shoot at the same point every time. I have 10 rounds. I'll try to shoot to the same hole. Let's see how that looks on the target. That's good. We have three rounds that you can see obvious deflection. You can also see irregular hole, but 
these ones over here, that's a good grouping. It is a bit high and to the left, I'm not sure why, but solid hits. All 10 rounds are in the target, which is surprising. Since we have the XRG ammo here, I also want to test another claim, which is that XRG ammo can actually deflate the tire much faster than the full metal jacket. The theory is, the full metal jacket will make a very small hole that will open and then close. But XRG has a hole in it, so it will kind of cut and remove some of the material, some of the rubber, and leave a bigger hole where the pressure can vent outside of the tire. One eternity later. Yeah, I think this is it. This is already a flat. Okay, so what's interesting to see is that these are the entry holes. You can barely see them, but essentially the full metal jacket bounced from the rim and made an exit hole over here and over here on the side. And these were leaking the most. So essentially, if you hit the tire with the F and J just straight on or straight through, it will barely leak. Look. Yeah, this is immediate result. <laughs> what? This was fast. Honestly, I didn't expect such a good result, but immediately when I shot the tire, it started to release air. And it actually released the most air from these three holes, which are entry points. As you can see, there's more rubber removed and it's a proper hole through the tire and just started to leak from every hole. When I came here, the tire was already deflated. 